start with an opening statement from St. Joseph's head coach Cindy Griffin following the Hawks' 49-41 win over Temple in overtime. Yeah, uh, what a game. Uh, typical Big Five matchup. Um, score doesn't get out of the 50s in overtime. Um, we, I thought our kids played really, really hard, really smart uh, down the stretch. I thought our defense was tremendous on, uh, on their key players. And, uh, you know, shooting free throws uh, sealed the win up for us and, and rebounding the ball, two things that we've been working on. And to win close games, you got to have players that can make plays. And uh, I'm sitting with two of them right here. And, uh, you know, we're very proud that, uh, that we were able to pull out the win today. Open the floor to questions. Cindy, it looked like the pace was a little bit more of the liking tempo. Maybe you would learn it a little bit faster. But to be able to get through and win a game against them when in this type of uh, – We'll call it pace environment. How much did that mean for you? Yeah, I think it's it's always going to be a grind out, you know, with with Temple. Uh, I think if you look at our last games, um, you know, they're always close, and it's just we just needed a break here, here or there, a layup here, um, you know, an open floor layup, uh, a stop. We just needed a little a little bit of a break, and, and and we got it, and we got stops down the other end. And uh, the margin for error is very small in these type of games, and the team that made the less mistakes was going to win, and I feel like we we made the less mistakes. Chantilla, how tough was it underneath? How physical a battle was it? Uh, it was very physical. I mean, um, my teammates were there to help me, though. You know, if I uh, got the ball, I tried to pass it out right away. Um, uh, but they were very good at communicating with me, um, making sure, like, when uh, they doubled me and when not. Um, so it was, it was a physical game. But, you know, we, we learned from these games. Every single game, we, uh, we took a step forward. Actually, when you finally did get out in the open floor, how much of a relief was it for you? Uh, it was good. <laughs> good. Um, even like when we caught uh, a few fast breaks, like it was just like we got it. Like well, now let's get the momentum going. So it was it was good. It was a great relief for. Us. And finally breaking the streak against Temple. That yeah. was exactly the program. Yeah, Especially yeah. You being a senior. Right? Yeah, so we haven't. Well, I haven't beat Temple since I've been here. So it's just a good way to go out. So I'm very proud of my team. How much was this a? You know, you got to look at the big, big picture. It's always tricky when you're playing, especially in the past Big Five title. It's up for state, the actual title, you know, is, is given. So, but how much is this is a concern coming at this point in time because of extracurriculars in terms of, you know, different things on the focus coming in? It is. I, I think, you know, having two teams uh, in your city that are in, in the Atlantic 10, I mean, it's. It's just a different type of game, and I, you know, maybe the maybe the rival of Xavier and Dayton has the same thing, but I, I would I would argue that and say that there's nothing like a Big Five game, and you could be only 25, 25 and up, and uh, it doesn't matter. There, there is extracurricular, there is uh, bragging rights, if you will, there is familiarity with players, and um, so it's it's a different type of game, and uh, I think that both teams will be better for playing these games, but it is it is challenging, especially this time of year. So, um, Tiana had that pass in overtime that you were able to take down to the other end. Just talk about um, what you saw there and how much that uh, layup meant to the rest of the game. Um, well, I, I took a chance, I guess, just at the right time. Um, I saw the um, I saw just going to pass the ball in the corner of my eyes. And I guess I just took a leap of faith and I, I went for it and there it was. And I uh, went for the layup and I guess that uh, made, us, made our team a little bit coming in, you know, into action a little bit. Um, so, um, yeah, it was good for a team.